in this video I'm gonna teach you how to play GTA with a PlayStation 5 controller on PC. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. As you can see, I am going to teach you how to properly set up GTA 5 or any other GTA game and use a controller as long as you have the game on Steam. Keep in mind that if you have or bought the game on Epic, it is still possible to import it into Steam. The reason why I emphasize running the game on Steam is because setting up any type of controller, including the PlayStation 5, through Steam is extremely simple. I would highly recommend that you find out how to add a non-Steam game if GTA is not on your Steam library and you input the version of GTA 5 that you have into Steam. Like I said, even if you own it through the Epic Game Store, you will be able to import it into here by going over to add a game and add a non-Steam game and run it from Steam. Now, after you have the game on your Steam library, all that you have to do is select it and then at the right side of the game, you will find this manage option. Click manage, go into properties and then controller properties. In here, make sure that your controller is already connected to your PC. You can connect your controller to your PC through various methods, usually by using a cable or wirelessly through Bluetooth. Once you go into the controller tab, you have to make sure that Steam input is enabled for all controllers, but specifically for this video, the PlayStation 5 controller. So double check to see if it is set to enable Steam input and everything will be updated. And you can also go into the controller configuration here to choose some button layouts and support information. Now, when all of this is done and you have your PS5 controller connected to your computer, you will see this little icon. So click this gamepad icon and in here you can browse through all of the layouts for the game. You will notice that I am using a third party Xbox controller, but don't worry if you have a PlayStation 5 controller instead, this icon of the DualSense is going to be lit up and you can go ahead and choose whichever layout you want to use. You will notice that there are recommended layouts made by Rockstar themselves, or you can browse through different templates or community layouts made by other people. So sometimes you can find optimized controller layouts that someone else might have made. Alternatively, you can view your own layout and even edit all the buttons to your own liking so you can change the d-pad, the triggers, joysticks, etc. It's very customizable and like I said, the important thing is that you do this process through Steam because Steam input will automatically help you set up your controller without any hassle. I hope I was able to help you on how to play GTA with a PlayStation 5 controller on PC. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.